Hello and welcome to another um, web application in Python tutorial um, part. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, today we're going to uh, uh, create single pages for our notes so that you can actually click on them. And uh, if you haven't checked out the previous videos yet, uh, <laughs> please do that first. Um, otherwise, this video would probably be a little bit confusing. But uh, yeah, so I'm inside our node app directory here. Um, I'm gonna source our Venom like we always do. Uh, and then I'm gonna open up my editor. Right, so let's actually start our app and see what we have, Python main.py. Let's open up Chromium window localhost. And I think we did something like this, all right. Now, <clears throat> I don't really like that the front page is a 404. So let's just fix that first because that is not pretty, okay? So let's add another blueprint in our views folder. Um, touch, uh, let's create uh, index.py. And I have a blueprint snippet here. There we go. And I'm just gonna reformat this a little bit. Um, now, hmm, like one thing we could do here is just to redirect to the notes uh, path. Um, I think that is what we're gonna do for now, actually. Um, it's not very nice to have like the front page redirecting you, but we'll do that for now, okay? So we're gonna import redirect and we're not gonna need the render template method. And then we're gonna do, let's keep it there. And then we're gonna do return redirect notes, okay? Then we actually need to register this blueprint as well in our app.py directory. So let's import it here from node app dot views dot index import bps index bp. Then we're going to register it index bp. And now we got an error here in our terminal route missing one required positional argument. Right, so let's go down and look. We haven't really put a slash here. We need to do it like that, okay? Now we can restart our web application. Now if we go to uh, refresh the front page, we should be redirected to notes. Cool, so yeah. That's pretty nice. Now let's make these clickable. Let's make it so that you can actually go into a single node. So to do that, let's first go into our templates directory. And let's go to our note list. Now we want to put age tags, a tags in here so that we can get, uh, so that we can click on them so that they become links. All right. So we're going to do h, age ref equals, then let's do notes slash, and then we're going to, uh, let's just wrap this. Let's just put the end tag here for now. Uh, actually, let's not, let's not put anything there for now because uh, we don't have any. We don't have a route for this. Okay, so before we put anything here, maybe we should just create a route for it. Okay, and which blueprint should we put this in? Well, the notes.py blueprint is probably the most suitable for this. We could create a new blueprint for single notes, but. Uh, if you have that sort of mindset, I mean, you're gonna get a lot of blueprints and we wanna keep it small, okay? So let's just put everything that has to do with notes in the notes blueprint. All right, so we will add another uh, route here. Actually, we have our edit route here. Um, we could use that, but uh, I think we should have a separate route for just viewing it and not edit, editing it, okay? So let's do bp.route. Bp and remember, our URL, 
rl prefix here is a slash notes, so we don't have to type slash notes. So let's just do, um, let's add a view endpoint here, and that is going to take an ID. So um, it will take a note ID as an argument in the URL, uh, right? Now, what this will do is that if we go to our browser here, for example, that parameter, that argument, will be every anything that is comes after the notes here. So, for example, this will be if I type uh, "hello world" here, then this "hello world" string will be the value of that note ID. Okay. So, if I type define a method here now called uh, "view." Um, and we put node ID here in here, and then we do return uh, node ID. Then what this will do is that if we actually press enter now and go to that page, uh, well, that didn't work. We need to do, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we need to do slash view, okay? And that will return hello world because that value will be the value of the node ID. Okay, so that is how um, values in the route uh, string works okay and you could even do you can even uh, say that this has to be a string like that Str I think that is how you do it I might be wrong uh, no we got an error str does not exist maybe it's a string like that I honestly don't remember uh, yeah that was right so if I do I think we can do int as well now it will throw an error because no now the route will give us a 404 because this is not an integer okay uh, but yeah let's just do it like that uh, so that we will accept anything now we want to uh, uh, be able to go into the note that you have clicked on so we need to actually fetch the note that you have clicked on now we've got a problem here we don't the notes currently don't really have IDs like if we if we go into um, the database.json file here we can see that our notes doesn't have an ID so there's no way for us to actually find the note that someone has clicked on so in our note utils.py we need to make sure we need to add some sort of ID to the notes that we create okay um, and I think one I think we will just like generate a random string to use for the ID. So yeah, let's just create a helper method here called uh, def generate ID. I'm going to do uh, from string import. No, actually let's do uh, br 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 from string import ask guy lowercase. I think that is how you do it at least. And then we're gonna do, uh, do, do, do return dot join. Um, we're gonna import random as well. Import random. Um, <clears throat> random dot choice. Ask I lowercase. Um, do, do, do. Um, for random the choice for ask I lower for I in range. Uh, let's make every ID 16 with a 16 of length. Um, oops, syntax error. Start the app again. Um, I just want to make sure that this function works. So what we can do is that we do print generate ID. And I'm just going to run this uh, function in the terminal. I'm going to open up another terminal. I'm going to do the CD, CD YouTube, uh, CD node app, source, and 
activate. Now, let's just run that file, node app, note utils of pi. And yeah, we get, an, we get a random string there, okay? I don't think it's random enough though. Let's do, let's add, um, um, let's add some uh, numbers to it as well. So let's just do, um, let's reformat this a little bit. And let's just do, Like that. Um, ba, ba, ba. That's probably a better way to do this, but uh, I mean, this will work for us. All right, we got a pretty random string there. It's it's good enough for us. Um, um, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is that we're turning a string and we join that string with uh, a list. Uh, of random characters and digits, okay? Uh, and we're doing, and that list is always 16, uh, the size of 16, okay? Cool, so now when we create a node, <clears throat> we also want to add an ID to it, okay? Um, so let's do, um, ID is equal to generate ID, generate ID. Now, uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. So let's remove the print here. And we got some syntax error again, we forgot to add that. Let's start the app again. Now what I wanna do is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove our database.json file because the notes we have there in there doesn't have an ID, so they are like broken. Uh, so let's remove that um, database.json and that file will be created again once we create a note um, because we are creating that file in the code here if it doesn't exist. Um, right, so now let's try and create a note and see if it gets an ID. So if we go to notes again and we create a note, let's do banana Hello, bananas are nice. Create. Now we got a banana note here. Now we still can't click it because we haven't really put anything in href, but let's just check if it has an ID now. So if you're going to, if we refresh the tree here and we go into our database.json file, we should see an ID here on that note. Cool. So now what we can do in our uh, uh, template the note list in our href we can do slash notes slash slash view the, the, the route that we just created and then we're just gonna put in the note ID there okay now if we click that link now we should get to this route okay and we're returning the note ID so if we refresh here now Let's, ex let's inspect this and see if the h tag is as what we expect it to be. And yes, it is. So we have a notes slash view slash an ID. So if we click here now, we come to this view and we can see the ID. Now this isn't very pretty. We want a template for it. Um, and also we need a method to actually get the note with that ID. So maybe we should do that first. Let's create that method. So what we can do is that we do this. Uh, we create another method here called def get notes by ID. Um, notes ID. And then we're simply going to do um, doo -doo -doo, return. Uh, we could do this like very in a very nice uh, functional way. Um, I'll show you both ways, okay? Filter get notes. Um, I think this is how you do it. Lambda x. Lambda x. X 
ID is equal to note ID. And we want the first element that we find. So we're going to do, actually let's, let's do notes equal and then do return notes zero if notes else none. Uh, so basically what we're doing here is the we fetch all the notes and that will give us a list of notes and then we filter that list with this inline uh, lambda function here and the requirement is that the ID is equal to the ID that is passed in and then we get a new list here that is like filtered and then we return the first element if the list has any elements else we're just returning a none value now i might have typed this wrong i always forget if this argument here is supposed to be on the other side <laughs> but we'll see now in our uh, notes.py the blueprint we want to import that method so get note by id and we're just going to do uh, note equals get note by id note id let's just return the string version of that note that we fetched and see if it works refresh and yeah i did it wrong <laughs> we need to flip these um we need to flip uh the arguments here whoops function objects no uh, maybe it's supposed to be like this. Sorry. Uh, key equals filter does not take what uh, what am I doing wrong? Filter object is not subscriptable. Oh, now I see what we're doing wrong. It needs to be <laughs> we need to wrap it in a list. Otherwise, it's like a, a generator thing that is returned. There we go. And we get the note with the ID that we gave it. Cool. So that works. Now let's just create a template for it. Um, so let's do, uh, let's copy the edit template actually. Note edit and do note view.html. So uh, let's replace the h2 with because we will pass the note object to this view layer, to this template. So we'll have access to the note here. So in the H2, let's do note.title. And then maybe we'll have a P tag here with uh, the note.description. I think we called it description, didn't we? Note dot, no, content, sorry, note dot content. Now, if we refresh the page, we should see nothing because we haven't defined, we haven't said that we want to use this template. So we want to go into the notes.py again, the blueprint. And now we want to do, instead of this, we want to do return render template note equals note. Um, actually, let's just do this. It's much cleaner note equals get note by id and we need to tell which template to use and we're going to do notes view.html and that's basically it now if we refresh we can see our note here uh, nice and clean let's actually add a, a button to get back to the um, uh, to the list. So let's just go into the note view and add a link here and we're going to do it will go to slash notes and then we go and type back to note list. So now we can go back and we can click on it we can view it. Let's create another note called uh, uh, programming. I love programming create so now we can see the programming item here in the list and we can click it and we can view it 
Cool. Um, so now when I create a note, I think it's actually nicer to get redirected to the note itself, the view, the view route. So to do that in our notes.py blueprint, uh, when we create a note, let's do, um, first we actually need to modify the, the uh, create note method to actually return the note that it has created. So to do that, let's just break out this dict from the function call there and do note equals like that instead. So we save it in a variable and then we do note that append note. And once we have written it to the file, we're going to return note. So we, we return the note that has been created, okay? Um, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the blueprint again and we're gonna do note equals create note since we do return the note now. And since we have the note here now in a variable, we can actually use the ID and do view um, plus note.id, note ID like that. Cool. So now when we create a note, we should be redirected to the actual page for the note. So if we create a note here, another note, this is another note of mine, create. And that works. We get redirected to the actual note page. Cool. Now, it would have been nice with some sort of nav bar and, you know, this sort of link things aren't really that nice. Um, so what we're going to start with now, we might not uh, do all of this CSS stuff in this video. It might be in the next video. But we're going to start to modify our layout a little bit to prepare it to have a nav bar and stuff like that. And also we will have to be able to link in some CSS and stuff. So let's just do that. Um, let's actually link in some CSS first. So to link in CSS, we're going to put a link tag in here. Uh, rel equals style sheet type equals text slash CSS href equals. Now, um, Flask has an in built in function here to get the static, to get like URLs for static files. And we're going to use that. So let's do, actually, before we type anything in there, we're going to create another directory for some, for our CSS. So to do that, uh, in the outer note app directory, create another directory in here called static. Okay. And in the static uh, directory, we're going to create another directory called CSS. And in the CSS directory, let's create a file called style.css. There we go. Now, just to make sure that everything works once we link in it, we're just going to do some, let's just color our background or something. Background color red. And let's go into our layout again and do uh, URL for static file name equals CSS slash style dot CSS. So this will create a link for that file in the static directory. Okay. And this should just work right, right out of the box. Um, if we refresh the page now, and make sure that you have like disabled cache here because maybe it won't work otherwise. And then just refresh the page and it should be read. And we should see here in our HTML that the, uh, the CSS link is here. Cool. Now we will, in our layout, we will prepare a navigation bar here. Um, and then we will style it in our next video. Okay. So let's just do nav. And then we're going to have a couple items in here. Okay. So um, maybe we'll have a link to the notes. What's this called? List. 
I'm gonna have to have a link to the creation to create a, a note. Uh, create a link to the create page. Um, and yeah, that's probably gonna be working pretty good. Yeah. Now let's just go into our CSS and just make this a little bit prettier. First off, what I usually do is that I I remove all margins and paddings. Margin zero, padding zero. Okay. So now everything is more compact. It looks pretty ugly right now, but we'll make it prettier. Let's just uh, edit our. Let's just design our navbar right away. It doesn't matter. Um, and then we'll design the other layout stuff in another video. Uh, so let's just do, actually in our layout, let's add a class to our nav, okay? Class equals navbar. Then in our style, let's just do dot navbar. Let's do it with 100%. Hmm, what color do we want? Um, let's just make it black and nice. Uh, background color, black. And uh, do, do, do. maybe we should have a height as well. Let's make it a, let's make it a 64 pixels, that'll be good. Then we have some A items in there, so nav bar a uh, display inline block text decoration none font style no uh, none. Um, then we want to have let's do them white because white on black is pretty nice black and then we're going to do, 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 do uh, height 64 pixels because the nav bar is 64 pixels. And we're gonna do line height 64 pixels as well. And that's pretty nice. And then maybe we'll also do padding left one rem, padding right one rem. Let's just see how that looks. Cool. Uh, we can't actually see the uh, buttons though, for some reason. Oh, we did color black, sorry. Color white. There we go, we can see the buttons. It's pretty nice. I'm just gonna change our font a little bit here as well. I'm gonna do font family sans serif. I think sans serif is pretty nice. Cool, so now we got two buttons here. Maybe we should change the color of them when we hover them. Um, let's actually get some nice color here. I usually use flyuicolors.com. There we go, and let's just do, let's use, um, let's use the, do, do, do. let's use the French palette. Let's do, uh, hmm. when we hover the buttons, which color is nice to have? Um, I think, uh, let's do squash blossom, squash blossom, okay. Uh, dot nav bar age hover background color and uh, let's also add a cursor pointer I know it's not needed because there are links but I just like to do that now if we hover them they change color it's pretty nice now I want to put a link to this in the file just so that we know that until to later, you know. Let's just do uh, colors, colors, 
there we go. Um, I think that's all that we're gonna do for today. Let's, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm just gonna add a little bit of transition to it. And I'm not a CSS guru or anything. I'm pretty average at it. So I know I'm probably making some mistakes here, but yeah. So now they are actually, ooh, I don't like that thing though. Uh, I don't know why they're doing that. Um, um, why are you doing that though? It's pretty weird, isn't it? Um, anyways, uh, that's all for this video. And in the next video, we will do some more styling to it. And uh, we're going to make this look really pretty. So yeah, thank you for watching.